Hello everyone. In our today's topic, we will going to talk about the youngest Chilean president Gabriel Boric, who has been elected by the massive percentage of vote, defeated his opponent Jose Antonio Cast. He is a leftist leader and the former student leader. His age is only 35 and has been elected as a Chile's youngest president. With 99.95% of the ballot counted, Boric won with 55.87% of vote, securing victory over his right-wing opponent Jose Antonio Cast, who trailed with 44.13%. And and this news is according to the election service of Chile. He will be shown in as president on March 11, 2022. The outgoing president of the Chile, the Sebastian Piñera, congratulated the new president, and that every outgoing president usually do. And he was congratulated the up- upcoming president, and that is the custom. That is why they he do. And Jose Antonio Cast, the right-wing candidate who lost against the leftist Gabriel Boric, often compared to the former U.S. president Donald Trump and the Brazilian president. Zaire Bolsonaro. That is according to the critic, and the critic usually do that. And the cast, Jose Antonio Cast, was as a staunch defender of former General Augusto Pinochet's regime and the free market. His agenda included the tax cut for companies, building the barriers in the north of the Chile to preventing the migrants from from other nations to his nations, because Chile is. Economy is one of the most stable economy in South America, but according to the UN, Chile's 25% wealth is in the hand of only 1% of the populations, and the Chile is a very rich for the copper, and Chile is the very rich for the nitrate. They have the world's largest nitrate reserve, and that they also export the timber, because they have the very deep jungles in the south. and they are the major exporting of the timber copper and nitrate and that is why the most of the people from the bolivia and the peru last to come to the chile and do the work over there but that is wrong to 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 to, to block them to enter in into the country for the work for the living being maybe they ha- they they need to come to the country with the visas and the other thing not illegally but this thing is very wrong to build the wall against the people and now in the second one we will going to talk about how the body became the student leader how he became the student leader because he is a student leader and he is a leftist leader in 10 years ago in 2010 that Chilean capital rallying against the country's privatized privatized education system alongside thousands of others because at that time the Chilean government was privatizing the more and the more institutions then at the time he was the student leader he protested against the privatizations of educations and lead the protest against the government because more and the more privatizations will going to put the burden on the students to pay the more and the more money to the institutions so they are living being will going to get hit hard so that is why the government have to have some measures to have some institutions under his cover government should not go for the total privatizations of the systems because they are the third world country all the student cannot afford the registrations in the private colleges and this is very tough for the students to get enrolled them with a huge amounts of money in the private pri- private colleges so that is why that protest actually happened in 2010 and he was the leader and how the gabriel became the president and became the very popular in the chile because another protest broke out on october 2019 that and the and the riots also shook the country with the protest then why the protest to, broke out because they were demanding the improved pensions they were demanding for the better educations and the end of an economic system that properly saves the favor of the elites 
that usually actually helps the elites they were not helping the poor there were nothing to help the poor there was nothing for the socialist so people of the chile need the help from the governments because they needed the money they were the third world country third world country there are some poor peoples every third world country has this kind of problems so they have to have some measures to help the people those who are living under the right income levels and these unrest forced the outgoing president pinera to agree to a referendum to change the constitution why he was forced to change the constitution because that constitution was written or rather forced on the people of chile by the military dictator pinochet and the caste the opposition presidential right wing candidate was admirer of di- dictator pinochet and last year the chileans overwhelmingly voted to and draft a new one the new constitution and the new constitutional work is in the pipeline and that written constitutions will be put on the plebiscite sometimes in the mid 2020 then chile will going to have a new constitutions in 2022 and this protest was led by the newly elected chilean president gabriel bori and from there he actually got the popularity and he was elected and he is now the president of chile and in the next slide we will going to talk about what were the promises the gabriel made to the chilean people on the basis of that the chilean people voted him to to be a president of the chile his political journey is kind of in roller coasters it's through the roller coaster ride through the waves through the water like situations and he promised more inclusive public health system for the chilean people he also promised to cancel the students debt by deprivatizing the institutions maybe he will going to deprivatize the institutions he will going to take some of the institutions under the purview of the government and the going to help the students and he also intended to increase the taxes on the super rich that one person and those who are holding the 20% of the chilean wealth and he promised to revise the state private pension system and this pension system was inherited from the pinochet's military regime but what are the but what are the changes chile saw in the recent days nothing nothing has changed because chile is still in the hard water because chile has been hit by the pandemic covid-19 pandemic very hard and pretty badly in the its economy is still in the bad shape and still not in the path of the recovery and it is a kind of playing with the fire the president elected gabriel promised the welfare state equality for all equal distributions of resources broad coalitions that includes the chilean communist parties and he wants to reduce the working hour from 45 hours to 40 hours and he wants to boost the green environment that is called the sustainable environment and how that will going to help maybe he has some plans to put it into the reality and how that will going to help the chilean economy by improve by improving or implementing the green environment yes and does this country sustain these promises does this country sustain to with these promises is it really sustaining the the promise that gabriel made the president gabriel made to make an welfare state it, it it's in the reality to make an welfare state the country need the huge amounts of money because government will going to give some money to the people poor peoples of the chilis and he will going to tax on the rich people that only 1% people will going to feed the 99% people that is a very hard task and after his win after his win chilean currency peso plunged against the us dollar and the stock market fell by 10% and the mining stocks were 
mining stocks were hit hard they almost obliterated the market they almost obliterated the market and why that that happened because being a leftist he wants to make his country and welfare states he wants to tax the rich people that is why the investors are worried about the stability and the profits they will going to make from the economy and the most of the investors are drawing the money from the market because of the high taxes fears and the socialist leftist government will going to put some tight rules and the regulations for businesses and that will be very hard for the businessman to run a business in that kind of environment in the conclusions i can only say that the winning the election is a very different thing from running a country free from the hackles so it is a very tough job to run a country the government have to take care of the people's sentiments and government have to take care of the economy and the chile has to recover from the south america's economic stability to recover chile has to recover to maintain the south america's economic stability i hope they will and i have a best of luck for them and now we came to the question the question today's question is which is the major desert of chile and the options are patagonia desert atacama desert sechura desert monte desert la gajira desert if you have any questions regarding this topic you can mail me and you will going to give me the answers in the comment section please give me the answer in the comment sections hope i will going to get reach to you through the comment sections and give you the answer and thank you very much and that is that is that's it thank you